Proposals are essential in getting more photography clients. This video will walk you through step by step on how to create a proposal and contract. I'm walking you through my proposal template that I used to get over 50 product photography clients during the pandemic. This video is walking you through step by step how to create a proposal that'll ultimately get you more clients to work with you. This video isn't just for photographers. If you have any service-based business, this applies directly to you. Without a contract, there's no project and there's no deal. A proposal takes what you've been talking about with a client and slaps a signature on it. Talk is cheap, but when there's a signature on that project you pitched, you know you've gotten a new client. Proposals are a very important part of the sales process. There is no deal until you get a signature from the client. There have been plenty of times where clients have told me they want X amount of photos and are excited to get started on the project. They tell me they'll reach out when they're ready. Months go by and I never hear from them again. A proposal outlines a project scope, puts a price tag on that project, and presents the client with terms to agree to. A proposal is typically sent out after you've had a discovery call with the client to learn their needs and how you can best solve their problem. How many times have you been in this situation? You reach out to a brand, they say they love your work, they say they want to work with you and ask for a price. You send that info over in an email, they say great, we'll be in touch soon, and then you never hear from them again. If they are serious about working with you, you need to ask them if you can send a proposal over. You don't need to be pushy here either. You can say something like, I'm excited to get started on this project, can I send over a proposal to lock in the project? Or you can try something like, I can tell there is some interest in this. Can I send over a proposal for you to keep in your back pocket until the time is right? During discovery calls, there's probably a lot of info you go through with prospective clients. You've got deliverables, cost of services, what's included in the project scope, typical turnaround times, project ideas for this specific client. There can be a lot of information that gets lost after the call is up. It becomes your job to gather all this information into one place and present it to the client in a simple way. The proposal has to be easy to read, but contain enough relevant information that someone that hasn't talked to you on the phone will be able to understand what you're offering. A lot of the time, you might end up on the phone with a marketing associate and they're going to have to forward the proposal to their boss to get a signature. You want the proposal to read easy and sum up exactly what you do so that nothing gets lost in the game of telephone. For me, a client is not one until I get a signature on that proposal. Up until that point, I'm assuming that the deal can fall apart at any minute for a number of reasons. I can't tell you the number of times I've had people tell me they'll work with me only to never sign the proposal. You're probably eager to start writing one, so let's get into it. Before you can begin creating a proposal, you need some software to create it in. I've used PandaDoc since the beginning and I love it. It's very easy to use. You can create templates there. You can use variables to fill in certain words or phrases. And if you want to get really advanced, you can have it automatically invoice clients for that 50% deposit right after they sign. Best of all, you get legally binding e-signatures. They have a free option as well as a paid monthly subscription. Link below to try that out. There's also other options out there as well. DocuSign is one, but I don't think they have any free options. You can also try and make a PDF file. Personally, I use PandaDoc for its simplicity. It saves me time and that saved time can be used to talking to more clients. Real quick, if you're getting any value so far, please drop a like below. What do you actually include in your proposal? The bare minimum will be a scope of work for a certain price, contract terms, and a place for a signature. Just because this is all you need doesn't mean that that'll make a good proposal. The proposal is the first time a prospective client gets to see how you work. A well put together proposal shows that you care about this client and will show the client what type of effort you'll be putting into their projects as well. Now that being said, you don't have to have a fully customized one for each client. It's great to have a pre-built template that you can switch up as you need to. Our bare bones proposal has pricing, scope of work, and terms. What do you think makes a good proposal. Here's what I include. I've got a cover page. I've got an intro page that talks about what you do and how you're different, some specific ideas for this client, case studies if you have them, relevant pieces from your portfolio, a work timeline, pricing and scope, and finally terms. By including ideas and parts of your portfolio in here, client will be reminded of the phone conversation that you had with them where you pitched these ideas. This will also make the process for them that much easier. Clients might talk to a few photographers before choosing one, and by using a proposal as part of your pitch, it differs differentiates you, it shows that you care, and it increases the chances of that client going with you. I'm going to walk you through an example proposal step by step and show you what makes a good proposal. I created this document on my website just for you. It's a client proposal template. It includes a couple example proposals, one with everything filled out, one with just a skeleton. It talks about exactly what you need in the proposal to close more deals. The link for that is down below. So now we're in PandaDoc. 
This is the home screen you'll be welcomed to whenever you first open up the, the application. Here you can see all the progress of your proposals that have been sent out. So you have stuff that are in draft, proposals that are have been sent, proposals that have been viewed, proposals that have been completed. So this is a great way to keep track of exactly where you are in the proposal process with all of your clients. So we're gonna go to templates real quick here and click on this mock proposal template I made. You won't have anything here when you first come in, but you'll be able to create these templates and use them over and over again with clients. So let's click create document right here. You can select the client here. So you would be able to put in their email address, their first name, last name, and PandaDoc will actually pre-fill the proposal with all that information. For now, we're gonna skip this since we're not actually signing this uh, client. And now inside of this mock proposal, we have the cover page. For this, I just used a pretty photo I took. I slapped content proposal up here and we have client company, your company, client first name, client last name, client company. For this page, you need to double check this multiple times before sending it. You want the client company and the client name and the client last name all to be spelled correctly. See, you don't wanna mess this up because if you mess up this small detail, this might affect them actually working with you. Moving on, we've got your intro page. So whoever is gonna read this should already have a good understanding of what you do. Here you can just emphasize some of your selling points, summarize what you do in case someone else will be reading this, and focus on the value that you provide. Moving on down here, we've got ideas for this brand. So I just made up this company, Cocktails in a Can, and for Cocktails in a Can, we can do action beverage photography with cocktails surrounding the cans. We can do pouring photos, pouring it over ice, having a close-up of the liquid. Just some ideas that will show that you care about this client and you put in time in order to try and win their business. Next up, we include our case studies. So if you've worked with any clients in the past, you can share the results that you achieved from your creative service. You can show the photos that you took for them, the videos that you took for them. If you have any numbers to prove how your photos influence their sales, include those here. So these just link back to my website so you can do the same for your uh, proposal. Next up, we've got our favorite projects. So this is just a video I took for this brand, 15 second long. You can embed this stuff into PandaDoc, another reason I love the software, and it helps show the client what you're capable of. And here we've got our portfolio of photos. So I include just beverage photography for this client. We know it's a canned cocktail company. So we've got lots of cans here, pouring shots, action photos, splashing photos, just stuff that's relevant to this brand. The client wants to be able to envision what their product will look like in your photo style. Next up, this timeline. The timeline is something people usually don't include in their proposals, but I think this is a vital component. It shows the client how professional you actually are. It shows what the timeline is of them working with you, what they can expect with turnaround times, all that good stuff, and kind of what happens once they sign the proposal, get you the deposit, what happens after that, what can they expect from your end. This is a way to appear way more professional on your proposals. Down here, we've got the pricing slash investment section. This is gonna be where clients spend most of the time looking at. Money is the most important thing at the end of the day for the clients. So the amount that they spend, they wanna be able to know what they get for that value. We already talked about building out an offer in my previous video, go check that out down below. But basically you want a basic package and then a more premium package and you want the premium package to have a lot more value. We're not really gonna dive into this right here. Um, this pricing is not accurate to um, what I charge. Do not charge this little for these assets, but you can figure that out as you go. And finally, we have the terms. Uh, this is not legal advice, I'm not a lawyer. These worked for me in the past. Um, I know most contracts have very detailed terms. I just wrote what made sense for my business. I definitely, you should do your own research with this stuff. You might need a lot more terms depending on the service you offer, but this can be a good starting point. It's worked for me, um, but really do a lot of research before putting the terms uh, in your proposal. Next and the last step is the signature. Signature, once you get that signature from the client, the proposal is locked in and you have a new client. So. This is a quick seven page proposal, very uh, simple to the point, but includes all the information a client needs. You want it to be as simple as possible, but still professional. So with this, if you watch this far, you seem interested in the content proposals. So I've got a download on my website that you can actually get. It's gonna be this proposal plus an example proposal and some more instructions on how to fill it out, how to email clients with the proposal and some other goodies that you can download. Go check that out, the link is down below. That's it from me, thank you for watching. My name is Chris Pieta and I will see you in the next one.